Hey guys, what's up? I'm sitting out in the patio up back at my brother's house having a cigarette before I go to bed. It's midnight, exactly 12 o'clock. Five after 12. I'm gonna tell you the story. I was up the city. You know, I was shopping around. Oh, I'm sorry, it's dark and everything, but just to let you know, you can probably see my cigarette. It's my talking stick. Anywho, I was at this store at the mall. It's a great big store, Old Navy. I think it's McNabb Mall or something. I don't know. Anyways, I was shopping around there looking for extra large t shirt so I wouldn't look so chunky. So I got looking for a triple X shirt. And next thing I know, I was standing there. Right beside me, there's a guy, he's wearing a winter toque and these sunglasses that look like mirrors. You can see yourself through them if he looks at you your way or something. And he had this little basket, and he's holding the basket. With a couple items in there, I don't know what he had in there, I wasn't paying no attention. Next thing you know, I said, ah, there's a t-shirt. Had Led Zeppelin or something like that on there. That was pretty cool. It was black and had white letters across it and everything. I said, yeah, I'm going to get this. And then I went over to the other section. I said, oh, I'm getting gray hair. I better freaking get that shampoo, uh, hair dye. 100% uh, gray coverage, man. I said, yeah. I grabbed one of those, and then just be a nail egg, because I, I had enough money. There was uh, hair brushes there, so then I grabbed a brush too, might as well. And some hairspray, why not? I'll fix my hair up when I don't wear hats. When, when that, that's barely ever. So I'm in the aisle, ready to pay for my stuff. A couple people ahead of me. I look behind me, that dude with the little basket behind me. So I got to the cashier, and I got a scratch ticket, I don't know, bingo or something. So I got my stuff, and then I went to the, you know, when you leave the big store, and you go into the hallways, walking around and stuff, and it's a great big hallway, and there's other stores all over the place. And next thing I know, I was walking down that hallway, it was probably oh, four stores, five stores down. And I looked, man, that buddy was following me. And he still had that basket with a couple of items in there. I don't even know if he paid for them in the Old Navy store. So anyways, I stopped into the record store. Was, back then it was cassette tapes and CDs and stuff, right? So I, I got to find myself a good heavy metal CD. So I end up finding what they call it, Megadeth CD. I grabbed it. I said, yeah, man. Back then I was right into the heavy metal, so I still am. And I like my rap, too. I don't know. I was looking at Tupac, all eyes on me. It was a double cassette CD. Oh, a double cassette CD. A double CD. So anyways, I ended up getting the Megadeth. I it had a very cool skeleton on the front, so the, the pitcher sold it. So I said, yeah, man, I want that. That's a cool skeleton. So I got it. I walked towards the line. And what the fuck is that guy was standing right there with his little basket with three little items or four items in it. And I'm like, what? I start really wondering what the hell is this guy? Now we're like, I went up the friggin', um, you know that step thing that moves? What do you call that? Oh, uh, escalator. I went up the escalator and everything. I was on a different floor and everything. And that guy was right behind me again in the aisle, gonna pay for his stuff. I said, well, I don't know if he's gonna buy these or what the hell's going on. So anyways, oh, I seen myself there for a minute. <laughs> Anywho, so I'm like, man, he had a winter toque on and those sunglasses with the mirrors on it. And he's still behind me. 
So I finished paying for my stuff and I went down out of that store and I, I said, one more store I gotta stop in. I gotta get a pair of new kicks. Get some nice sneakers, man. Friggin' right. So I went down to the place where they wear the striped shirts. Uh, Foot Locker, yeah, that's it. So I'm like, man, and that's like friggin' like a whole bunch of stores down, down the long hallway at the mall. You had to go by the food court and everything. Boy, I could smell the friggin' hot dogs and friggin' hamburgers and all the good food. But I resisted my, diet, my munchies and dashed to the friggin' footlocker where it looked like all referees were working in there selling sports stuff. So I went in there and I was looking at these Ray Cool Red Sneakers. They were Nike. They had a Nike stripe on it. They were red. Ray friggin' cool. Didn't I look behind me? Buddy with the little basket and three or four items in it was standing right there. He had a football shirt on. I can't remember. San Diego Chargers or something. Anyways. So outside of that store, you just had to walk straight and you, you're outside. Wait to where the cabs are waiting and stuff. So I said, man, I said, this guy is still following me and he's right on my tail. I start walking faster and faster and faster. Yeah, cause I was still, man, right, right, right behind me, reaching distance. He could just reach out and touch me. I said, holy freak, man. I said, maybe he knows I'm native and he doesn't like natives or something. Or he's a narc and he's trying to think I'm stealing or something, I don't know, and I wasn't, I had cash, it was bonus day, anyways, I got in that freaking cab, I seen the cab, I waved it down, and I started getting nervous, I was walking faster, and I stopped and turned around, I said, what do you want, bud, he stopped, and he started looking around, and I seen between his glasses, you could see his eyes, he was cornering me real hard, you could see his eyes, because he looked sideways, he didn't answer. So anyways, I turned back around. I seen that friggin' taxi. I waved him down and he didn't get in. I could hear him. He had the window cracked down a little bit. So I walked in. I went in the back seat and I was getting in. Opened the door. Threw my stuff in. I got a guy standing right there, right behind me. Man, I thought he was going to grab me and beat me up or something. I don't know what the hell. Or try to fight me, whatever. I don't know if he could beat me up or not. But anyways, I was like, what the heck is this guy doing? So anyways, I got in the car. I opened the door. I got in. Got, threw my stuff in. Cut one leg in there. And I was just ready to get my second leg. And he started pulling on my leg. He grabbed my leg and my sneaker fell off. He's pulling my leg, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Oh, my God, what? And I was freaking out, man. I was like, bud, get ready to pull out, man. I got to grab my shoe, man. I said, fuck it, I got no sneakers anyway. I said, just pull out, man. He's pulling too hard. Almost pulled me out of the car. Pulling my leg and pulling my leg. I'm freaking out, man. Get it. Drive, drive, drive. He was pulling my leg right hard. Ah, pulling my paw, pulling my leg. Like I'm pulling yours. <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the toque and sunglasses followed me at the store. Yes, have a good day. This is L L77 in the dark telling stories at midnight. It's a full moon, but it's gray out. Have a good one, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry for pulling your leg. <laughs> well, that guy's doing that to me. Peace, I'm out in the dark.